Well, you know, the reason why it's not working for you is you don't have any data. Oh. <laughs> so in, if you remember in, in the late 90s, that's the beginning of the Jurassic Park films mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and the opening of the, the first one, there's a, a group of dinosaurs running across this grassland right. and, the, and, and the scientists were kind of you know, <laughs> falling about in, dis, in disbelief. Yeah. The algorithm that drove that animation is a flocking algorithm. And the rules are really simple. You know, yeah. They're cohesion, alignment, and separation. Mm-hmm. So animals want to head in a, in a common mm-hmm. direction, common speed, mm-hmm. common average speed, and keep uh, a measured distance from each other. Mm-hmm. And you put those three rules together and you get this complex behavior. And I was fascinated by that and I taught myself Lisp. We had to create our own oh. coding and, and I taught myself Lisp and tried mm-hmm. to figure out how to recreate that algorithm. And, and it wasn't until actually to the, uh, during the pandemic and one of these, you know, mm-hmm. fire pit parties, <laughs> there, there might've been a fair amount of red wine. And, <laughs> and I, I was having this conversation and I have a, 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 a group of scientist friends and uh, I was there, they're mostly neuroscientists at uh, the School of, of, of Medicine. And mm-hmm. there was a, a young PhD student from Uruguay, mm. um, Diego Alice Soto, who's, who's finished his PhD and is now a postdoc at Berkeley. And I mentioned this this idea and he said, wow, well, you know, the reason why it's not working for you is you don't have any data. Oh. <laughs> so I was trying to solve this algorithmically. Yeah. So why did why don't I share some actual data with you? Oh, wow. And and so the first data set that we looked at uh, was a group of homing pigeons flying around the University of Oxford. Uh-huh. And they there are 10 of them. They all have little GPS trackers <laughs> on them. And then with um, my colleague, Conrad Kaczmarek in the Department of Music, we figured out how to turn that into music. Wow. And at, at that point, that was the first real kind of glimmer of, oh, yeah, we need real data from nature and started to think about how how you can translate that in a way that's musically interesting mm-hmm. but also preserve something of the actual behavior and 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 at that point uh, Judy Lichtman, who is in the School of Public Health she's mm-hmm. an epidemiologist she does some teaching at CCAM mm-hmm. and she saw what, what we were doing and mm-hmm. and at that point uh, planetary solutions was offering grants mm-hmm, mm-hmm. so we she said we should apply together that is amazing. so we wrote a grant mm-hmm. and we got it and then we got another one 